Hey guys, let's get a little bit personal. Um, now, I have been wanting to do this video. I, I know I've shared a little bit about myself, but I wanted to share a little bit more about my journey as an Amazon FBA seller and how it came about. Uh, a little bit on that. And also, uh, one of the most important things, uh, well, I guess a common question that I get is, is it possible to become a seven-figure seller on Amazon? Very fair question. Yes, it is possible. Are there are sellers? Yes, there are. Do I know anyone? Only one. Do I know a lot of six-figure sellers? Quite a number of them. I am one of them. Now, um, the best thing about Amazon is that now, mind you that um, I've been doing this for a few years, so uh, I've built that structure for myself that I can um, do um, the six figures that I do now. Um, my best year was about 570, 70 something thousand um, in sales, right? So of course, like 50% of this is your profit margin and the rest is your cost and everything. So that was my best year. But is it possible to make it as an Amazon seller and have an amazing lifestyle? Absolutely. Now, uh, from what you guys know, I'm not a flashy guy. I don't like to flash like Lamborghinis or Ferraris or live in a big mansion because I, I think that just defeats the purpose. If I'm a six-figure seller, <coughs> sorry, multiple six-figure seller, right? Why would I go spend on something that's going to take my entire income out um, uh, my entire income out in just a, a car which is not even an investment so I live a little bit differently um, but I love investing in properties and that's what I do is whatever I make I basically invest um, and I don't try to keep much because your money cannot just stay still your money has to move and it has to work for you that's how you make passive income guys passive income is not about you know like just selling on Amazon and uh, your product selling online passive income is about investing right investing in something that is gonna grow and generate you uh, income and I do a lot of that and uh, I do a lot of marketing so when I started on Amazon right I didn't have somebody to guide me through the ropes uh, tell me how it's done and possibly that's why it took me a bit of time to get to where I wanted to be and uh, That really I hope there were some uh, mentors that I could use uh, Information valuable information that I could have used at that time not to make the mistakes that I did like product research was my biggest problem I always went for products that were my passion um, and that is very wrong because I know people say always try to do something that you're passionate about but what happens is that you get blinded. You invest a lot of money because you really, really want to make that product work. And the reality is that the market is not there for it, right? So you guys got to be very, very careful with that kind of stuff. And that's what this channel is about. This channel is to give you guys and mentor you guys and tell you guys the ropes and tell you guys the problems that I faced and how you should avoid the problems that I, the sorry, the mistakes that I made and how um, you should build your business so you don't lose money on it because it's so demotivating guys when you lose money and the first time you know that it's not gonna work, uh, your product is failing um, and you're stuck with like hundreds of units and inventory and costs and everything, it's so demotivating guys. You just wanna pay it off and get out of the business. Don't. I'm telling you guys, stick around, learn from your mistakes, fix it. And if you do things properly from beginning, and that's what I'm trying to tell you guys is plan ahead, um, get everything sorted right away, you guys are going to be bound to be successful. Now, um, maybe because I live in Canada and uh, I'm selling in Canada, I'm selling in the United States as well, but maybe because of that, I never really broke it into the seven figure market or as a seven figure seller. But six figure selling is very common with Amazon FBA. You'll find a lot of these guys that are selling six figures, no problem. Now, it will take you a little bit of time to um, uh, to build that up. So it's not going to happen overnight, guys. Like the first thing you're going to do is, uh, which is the first thing I did is I wanted to replace my income. Okay. At that time, uh, when I started, I was making about $43,000 a year and I wanted to rep uh, replace that. So that was my initial goal. Once I did that, now I had the time and the experience to push it further. 
So I started, so keep in mind guys, that 43,000 is just my net profit, which means that I actually sold 86,000 that year. So that was my initial, initial, initial year. So after that, my plan was to twice as much, to sell twice as much, to actually the income that I had and times it by two, three, four, five times, right? So, and that's what I've been doing. I'm halfway there to, uh, to be a um, seven figure seller, but I'm not there yet, guys. Um, maybe I'm biased, that's why I'm telling you guys that uh, it is not as easy, right? Because some guys I know that they break into the market like crazy, they have the perfect product, they release it at the perfect time, they have the perfect market for it. Most of these guys in US, like, they hit it big. So, um, it, is, it is possible. United States is a huge market for Amazon uh, FBA and uh, Amazon sellers in general. So even if you're in Europe, China, wherever, or Asia, India, wherever are you, wherever are you um, Amazon is big, right? So United States never negate that market. Now I know the Asian market is big too, so you will get a lot of products there as well. But um, I found that a lot of times people like to stick with a platform that is known or that is created within their continent. So um, if it is Amazon FBA which is created in the United States, uh, people like to shop there uh, or from United States or Canada or the North American continent. If it's um, a website that is huge in East like uh, Alibaba or what have you or other websites, um, People tend to shop there just because they want to support the local or local content and market, right? So um, that's why um, depending on what you're selling, where you're selling, if you're selling on Amazon, please, please do not negate the United States. Sell there. It's amazing. It's a big market. Over 300 million people where Canada is about uh, 35 million. So um, you guys do the math and based on population, you're going to get a lot more sales. Um, so sell in both areas, places. Uh, figure out the details of both markets and sell in both markets. Never sell in one, never put your eggs in one basket. Um, and the third thing that I've learned is basically never ever put your eggs in one basket. I know I just said it, but what do I mean by that? I started selling one product and uh, when I started selling one product, I made money. I replaced my income with that one product. But what happened, the sales started to slow down a bit and I panicked, right? I'm like, oh shit right i didn't prepare for this so it's always good guys to get into your second third product so once one is successful make the other one successful while this one is running in the background uh, which requires half an hour of your time every day start searching for your second third fourth fifth product because that's how you're gonna make it into the big six-figure business you're not gonna make it from one product no matter whoever tells you by one product you're gonna make six figures hell no that's not gonna happen Amazon is all about finding profitable products at that specific time and uh, products change, times change, people's taste changes, trends change, right? So you got to keep all that stuff in mind. And that's part of being a businessman is to keep ahead, think ahead, project, figure out what you need to do, figure out what you need to sell. I hope this video helped you guys. I hope this gave you a little bit of insight into what I do uh, on Amazon. And I'm going to share more about myself down the road with you guys. And I would love to hear your stories. So drop it in the comment below. Like this video if you liked it. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down, right? Whatever. <laughs> um, and yeah, uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Or if you're new to this channel, welcome. And uh, that's it. Thank you so much, guys. Have a wonderful evening. And I'll see you guys then. Bye.